This video was created by the Office of Early Learning as a resource for users of the Single Statewide Information System. We will demonstrate how coalition staff can reset the family consent if they originally answered no. The objective is to show how coalition staff can reset the family consent if the family originally answered no. After coalition staff reset the family consent, the family can log into the family portal and change their answer to yes. In the coalition portal, navigate to SR Program, SR Eligibility, Search. Enter the search criteria. We'll enter our EV number. Click the search button. On the search results screen, click the EV number. The reset button will only display if the family originally selected no for developmental screening or child assessment. If NA displays for those, this means the family hasn't completed those questions. For this child, the family selected no for developmental screening and child assessment. Click the reset button. The confirmation message displays. This will notify the family of the update. We will click save. For child assessment, click the reset button. Then click the save button. Notice that the answers for developmental screening and child assessment now display as NA. The family can log in to the family portal and answer the questions with yes. Thank you for viewing this demonstration of how coalition staff can reset the child assessment consent. If you have additional questions, coalition support admins may submit service desk request in the OEL support portal. For additional training videos, check out our YouTube channel at Florida Office of Early Learning and click the subscribe button to receive notifications when we upload new videos.